Look at all the stiffness. Can you handle all this thickness? No, you can't. Guys, hey, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we're building a really awesome system. Take a peek at it, let me know what you think. If you like what you see, make sure to hit that like button. If you like what you see even more, hit that sub button. And we'll see you every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday over at twitch.tv slash stints, where we build these PCs you see right here live at 10 a.m. Eastern, Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays at twitch.tv slash stints. See you soon. I haven't any coffee this morning. I'm gonna pop up in one of these. Mmm, this goes so good with our theme almost here. A little bit of blue ice today. A little bit of blue ice today. There's a lot of people who, if you guys are in the queue when running for a bill quote for me, I apologize. I am trying to catch up. It's a lot, a lot. Okay, we got a lot. Um, we got a lot of quotes and we're trying to catch up through them. I know Chicago Scooby's one of them. Gay Morning's one of them. Uh, thank you for being patient. Um, 3080s are a little tough right now, guys. I'm not gonna be, I'm gonna be honest and just kind of say where it is. Um, dude, thank you, Bill Murray. Um, 3080s are gonna be tough. So if you're a 3080, we're honestly looking at four to six weeks right now. Um, just gonna be brutally honest. I mean, there is like, um, I have had a friend who's got literally been, he, he didn't want to wait my three weeks because he said cyber power said so they can get him one in two weeks. I said, okay, you want to go that route? And, you know, we've, we were friends from high school, you know, kind of like old acquaintances and he didn't want to wait my two to three weeks when I had them in inventory. I said, I'll get you one in two to three weeks. You just got to go through my bill queue. He goes, okay. And he said, oh, cyber power can get me one for two weeks. He ordered in November. He's still waiting for it to be assembled and built. And it's February. <laughs> I was like, uh, I was like, okay. Cause he wanted one of those little pyramid, like the, the pyramid ones, like the pyramid. I was like, you know, um, it's like, dude, I could have built that for you. It would have been awesome. And you know, we could have made some really cool, but So I'm excited about this build, guys. Uh, I'm really excited about this build, not only because it's going to look really cool, it's also going to a really good friend of mine. Uh, I was going to my friend Terry, uh, his name's Lurch. Uh, we play we play Tarkov quite a bit together, uh, once in a while when we can. Um, so I'm really excited uh, to build this for him. Uh, I've known Lurch back, oh my gosh, like probably eight to 10 years in gaming. Uh, I've met through mutual friends, um, and it's really cool to be able to build him a system. And I mean, he's going to take the next level. He's playing on a 3700X and a 5700 XT, not a bad system. But obviously, going to R he's going to RTX and, and Intel because he doesn't stream, doesn't he doesn't do anything like that. He just wants FPS, and obviously the 10 850K we're putting in here, and 37 R the RTX 3070 tough, good combo. Um, so let's go over today's today's setup. Uh, the CPU is the Core i9 10 850K from Intel with the NZXT Kraken X73, uh, a 300 similar AIO CPU li liquid cooler. Uh, we got. This all going on the Asus ROG Strix Z490E from our favorite motherboards for the Z4 uh, for the uh, LGL 1200 platform. We've got the uh, 32 gigs of G Skill Trident Z RGB 3600 megahertz RAM. We've got uh, the RTX 3070 from Asus. We do commercial builds. Yep, we do commercial builds. We have the two terabyte Crucial P2 NVMe drive. We've got plenty of space, plenty of hard drive space there on that uh, M.2 SSD. We've got a four. We're putting this all in the beautiful beautiful Corsair um, 400D airflow. Todd, thanks for the host, brother. Um, we've got an 850 watt Corsair RMX uh, high performance po uh, power supply. Sins, what's going on, Sins? Beers, good morning. We've got uh, six MF120 Halo RGB fans from Cooler Master for the cooling. And then we've got black and gray braided cables from Easy DIY 16 AWG. Nice, beautiful braided cables we're going to put in here. The black and grays. And then on the glass, we're also going to put some really, really nice. Um, we're going to put a really nice uh, uh, etch mark in the glass form. So it's a, a vinyl etch mark from 3M. Looks really, really sharp. Looks almost engraved. It pretty much has the effect of looking like engraved without having the price of engraving. So it's going to look really, really sick. Uh, Terry's special forces, so we're gonna put his uh, I think he's putting his unit on the side of it. It's gonna look sick And I'm really excited for that. I'm really excited for that. Uh, without further ado, we're gonna head over to build station. We're gonna start building this beauty No, Red Dwarf, it's all good, dude. It's all good. We I have people all the time that are like, hey, where are we at? Where are we at? If I say two, three weeks, it's gonna be two, three weeks. You know what I mean? Typically where it's at, 
If it's three to four weeks, it's gonna be three to four weeks. I'm trying to be as transparent as I can. It's also hard with some of these components. You gotta think about it. I'm just one of the many system integrators. That I call it, we're called B tier. The B tier are the higher system integrators that are custom built, like boutique custom builders like myself, Power GPU, um, B, uh, Paradox, which is uh, our pit. Like some of the other ones you see are on Twitter. And then they have like the tier A, which is like the, obviously the NGXT build, the Cyber Power, the Digital Storm. They buy at like the higher levels. So between the, the between the high levels and us, we, we have to fight for cards. And then on top of that, you have e-tailers that want all the cards. But there's a mass shortage already. And on top of that, everybody's like, just want them, you know? So it's been hard, it's been hard. It's been a hard to get a hold of the cards the last like last three weeks, honestly. We're buying what we can when we can right away. So, so we're using the Z490X, uh, Z490E Strix, the X, Z490 Strix. This is why one of the best bang for buck boards. Um, has Wi Fi, everything built in. Gorgeous, got tons of USB ports. I'm talking like, uh, we got back here four, eight, ten USB on the back, which is really nice to have. How do you get a knife fight in Tarkov? <laughs> you're getting head eyes by something. <laughs> Alright, so we just put on it's put in the M.2. Now we're putting in the remainder of the screws. Pull the shroud down. Alright, so just putting on the back plate for the standoff for the Kraken. See what we're doing right there. How many cores? It has 10 cores. This is the same CPU that actually Car Ramrod runs here. The fantastic CPU. Alright, let's put in our RAM. This beautiful Trident Z RAM from G Skill. This, this, this one's gonna look so clean. It's gonna look really good, chat. Pretty sure it's the same RAM that John, you also put in your system. John Car Ramrod. I'm pretty sure you use the same stuff as well. Need to hydrate. Guys, if you didn't know, People that are showing some love today, bottom corner right here, you see me in this bottom right hand corner, right down there, we hit that submark, we're giving away a beautiful 3070. That beautiful motherboard, guys, what do you think? It's gorgeous, isn't it? Gorgeous. All right, guys, I'm gonna pull up the case, take a look, see, let you take a look at it. Beautiful Corsair 400 Airflow. This is one of my favorite cases right now, uh, probably my top five. It's gorgeous, it's sleek, it's minimal. It's got really good airflow. Got really good uh, cable routing and cable management built in. It's probably one of the better cases of the, without RGB already is set up for under $100. We built one about two weeks ago here on stream. I built in the RGB version yesterday on our build and chill. Uh, I like the airflow version a tad bit more personally, but he wanted the RGB tempered glass in the front and I like the, uh, the airflow look. I think this also looks pretty badass because uh, Terry being a X Special Forces soldier, you know what I mean? Like that, that kind of like gothic, like mean, rugged front look looks good on this case, you know? Kind of help go with the flow. If we're gonna put a big old Special Forces ammo on the side of it, gotta have a case that can handle it, you know what I'm saying? This is what I'm talking about. I love the front of this case. It looks really sharp. We go top down. Look at all the airflow in this case. You can see that. Look at that. You can see, like, you can pretty much see through it. You can see my face pretty much through the airflow. Like that's. Uh, this is the Corsair 400D Airflow. It's it's literally one of my favorite. I think it's probably, if I could be honest with you, if you don't have to talk about the RGB element, it is probably my favorite case um, right now. Without the RGB elements that are included in a lot of other cases for similar price, um, this is my favorite case in terms of uh, thermals, in terms of like comp, it's compact, but yeah, it can hold a lot. Um, it ships really well. There's a lot of things I like about this case. The matte finish looks pretty, it's actually like a matte, almost like a, um, almost, it almost feels, it's almost got a rough matte, but it's got like this shine to it. I don't know, I love it. It's, it's a case I just really enjoy building in. For an all blacked out system, it looks good. For an all RGB system, it looks really good. So, I feel a lot of cool things I like about it. I built in the 400D, which is the RGB version of this case. I built on that, but I have not built in the 500. Uh, the 500 is a bit bigger, I just haven't built it yet. There's the, there's the board looking good in that case. Beautiful combo. Get our fans. Our MF 
120 Halo fans from Cooler Master. This song right here makes like this is a song that makes me want to go literally somewhere tropical and have a drink. <laughs> Anybody else have that feeling when you hear this song? All right, we're gonna actually go top down. We're gonna mount the AIO real quick to the CPU. Now we're ready to mount this beautiful uh, NZXT AIO. And I love these AIO coolers. Yeah, NZXT makes some of the best coolers. Uh, people don't like them. I don't know what they're smoking. I think it's they're aesthetic. It's very minimal. But obviously you do have the LCD, you also have the LCD uh, GIF cooler, the GIF cooler, the GIF, everyone say it, GIF, GIF, I um, mean some people are going to get mad about that comment right there, but they're fantastic coolers. The 7th Gen H Tech pumps that are in these coolers, I have one on my system, I'm overclocked at 5.1 GHz constant all cores on my 900K, and I don't go above 42 degrees. <laughs> it is ridiculously efficient. Alright, so let's pick up our power supply, this power supply. Using the Corsair RMX. While we do this power supply, I'll give you a nice little front close up shot of that. I think it looks beautiful. You asked about the different tiers um, of Corsair um, power supplies. So, when it comes to the gold power supplies, it goes, uh, I think it's like TX, which is like their basic gold power supply, it goes RM, which is their performance, and then RMX, which is their high performance. Um, I think Purius asked me about that. So, that kind of gives you an idea of their other gold rated power supplies, which gold rated is plenty of power for any of the 3080s, 3070s, 3060s. You want to go gold, gold power supply typically. Budget, you can get away with a bronze. Make sure you, make sure you have a good bronze uh, caliber and make sure you have good watts, obviously. Uh, but in terms of Corsair, when it comes to their, their lines, it's like TX, um, RM, and then RMX. So, all right. Uh, so with this, for this one, we need, uh, we need our 24 pin power. Sorry about that, guys. We need 24 pin power. We're going to need SATA. SATA's going to power the AIO NZXT pump. Um, so we need uh, SATA power for this one. GPU power. We we'll need two uh, PCIe cables for our power supply. We're using Brady cables there, so we should be good. We get these set up for how we like them. You know my little twisty, twisty setup that we do here. All right, got our power supply in. Let's get it all set up, and then we'll clean screens. We're gonna do some more fans. Hatch cable management's what we're doing right now. Yep, managing all these cables. So we have this big old thing of zip ties. You seen our zip ties? <laughs> There's some black and gray braided cables. The black and gray look nice. The gray actually kind of help accent a few of the gray on the uh, on the on the fans, as well as the gray on the motherboard and also the etching. It's gonna look really sharp with it. So there's nice thick AW 16 AWG um, wires you see them right there from Easy DIY Fab. Makes some great great braided cables for a really good price. You can get them for about 30 bucks for a good set, which is a really, really good price. Geez, a beauty. We're almost done with this one. We got two more fans. We got the thick boy. Gotta run the power, and then it's oh baby, we got a light show today. This thing is going, it's going to look good, chat. I don't think you guys realize how good this is gonna to look today. This one's going to, be, it's going to be nice. Real nice, Clark. Look at all this thickness. Can you handle all this thickness? No, you can't. <laughs> no, it was like slide it in for me. Yeah, move this up just a tad. The Brady cables. Oh, I heard the thunk. Do you guys hear the thunk? I heard it. That thunk. Make sure that braid looks good. That braid looks good, right? I think it looks sharp. What do you guys think? What do you think, chat? Looking good. You guys ready to fire it up? She's all done. Go B. All right. Guys, thanks for another awesome video. Thank you for stopping and showing us the love here on our YouTube channel. If you like what you see, make sure to hit that like button. If you like what you see even more, hit that sub button. And remember, we build these PCs you see live here on our YouTube every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday now 
over at twitch.tv slash stints. Come over, say hello, watch us build a PC, and ask any questions you have, and let's go.